Yeah. 
Hey, good evening, Bethel. Thank you for joining us here online for Wednesday night Bible study. Tonight we're in Psalm 28. And it's an incredible psalm. A psalm like so many others that really talks about the power of prayer. But so much more than that. It talks about the power, the person, the character of the God that we pray to. I don't know about you, but I'm so grateful for prayer. You know, today I got some reports from folks who, who got an answer to prayer, that God came through and did what we asked him to do. I also got some requests today from people that needed prayer. And so the Lord is the one that we turn to. And I, I hope that you are turning to him with whatever your needs are. Let's take a look at what David says here in Psalm 28. Look with me at verse 1, if you would. He says, To the Lord I call, you are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. David reminds us in the opening of Psalm 28 to, to describe the Lord as a rock. He reminds us that God is our security. He is the sure foundation upon which we're standing. He is the solid rock. Jesus Christ is our rock. He is the rock of ages, the solid rock that we stand upon. And he is our security. You know, we all have need for security in all of the areas of our life. And God doesn't want us to trust in the things of this world for our security. He wants us to put our faith, our trust in him because he is the rock. You know, rocks are very difficult to move. And if the rock is big enough, it's immovable. And the truth is, is our God is a big, big rock. He is our security, our foundation. And then David reminds us in verses 7 and 8 that the Lord is not only our security, but he's our strength. Look at verse 7. It opens with, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, he says, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. And then verse 8, he says it again. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. David not only reminds us that the Lord is his strength, but he also reminds us that the Lord is the strength of his people. And that's me, and that's you, and that's all of us. We have strength that comes from the Lord. He is the strong and sure one. And that fortress that he talks about is salvation. Aren't you glad that you know the Lord? Aren't you glad that you're washed in the blood of Jesus, that you have salvation in him? That is the fortress that he's hidden you in. You are his and you belong to him. You're his people. You are his children, and he is your strength. And then he reminds us in verse 7, look back if you would, he says, not only is the Lord my strength, but he's my shield. Not only does God encircle you like a fortress and protect you every day of your life through the fortress of salvation, but he also gives you a shield. The Lord is your shield. He goes with you into battle. So whatever battles you're facing, he's your shield. And then lastly, look at the last verse. He says, save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. So not only is God our security and our strength and our shield, but he reminds us that God is our shepherd. Jesus is the great shepherd. And I love the, the imagery here. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. You know, there are days when all of your strength is gone. There are days when you feel like that you have nothing here on earth that is secure. There are days when you feel like that you, you need a shield, but you don't really have one. But I remind you that God is the solid rock, your security, that he is the strength that you need. He has all the strength that you need. And I remind you that he's given you a shield. No matter what battle you face, he's with you. He is your strength and shield. And then we're reminded that he's our shepherd and that he carries us. So no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, God is your security. He's most definitely your strength. He is your shield. And don't forget, he's your shepherd. Can I pray with you right now that the shepherd will give you all that you need and that he will carry you? Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you that you are all of these things to us, our security, that solid rock. You are our strength, Lord. The salvation that you've given us is the strength, Lord, that we need to stand in whatever we face. And Lord, you've given us a shield. You are our shield. You go before us, Lord. You surround us like a fortress. You go before us like a shield. You are our strength and our shield, and you help us, Lord. And Lord, thank you that you're our shepherd. When we can't even walk, when we can't even move forward, when we can't take one more step, you scoop us up and you carry us. So Father, I pray for my friends tonight who are watching this. I pray that you just scoop them up right now. 
in your, long, in your strong, loving arms. Just scoop them up right now. Let them feel your strength. Let them feel the security of being in your arms. Let them know, Lord, that you are covering them like a shield. And Lord, may they never forget that you're carrying them through whatever it is they're facing in life. We thank you tonight, Lord, for being with us. We thank you for this incredible psalm. And we pray, Father God, that you would just bless this, not only to the knowledge of our heart and mind, but deep in our spirit, Lord, that we would know you as security, strength, shield, and shepherd. You're all of these and so much more. We love you with all of our hearts. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for being a part of this. Hey, I uh, hope that you will join us on Sunday morning. We are going to be having church on the lawn this coming Sunday, December the 13th. Uh, and so we want you to come and be a part of that. If you can't, continue to watch online, Facebook, YouTube, and of course our website, GoBethelChurch.com. And at that same website, you can watch past episodes. You can watch past Sunday services, past Wednesday night Bible studies. You can give. Um, you, you, can, you can do all of those things. So God bless you. We love you much.